double click on AutoCAD icon to open AutoCAD software. First we will get this start window. If you are using a older version of AutoCAD software, you will get this window. If you compare both, new version start window is looking well organized from older releases. In this start window, first we will get open tab. Directly click on that. From here, you can open your saved drawing files. Near the open tab, click on this down arrow. You will find another two more options. First one is open a sheet set and second one is explore sample drawing. Click on open a sheet set. This folder is empty because I have not created any sheet sets here. It is a very good option available in AutoCAD to print all our sheets with a single click. I will make a dedicated video on this topic. Click on this i button to watch the video. Next one is explore sample drawings. By this we can open a drawing which is created while installing the AutoCAD software. That means this is a sample drawing. Below this open tab, we are having a new. By this we can create a new drawing sheet that is an empty sheet where we can create any of our drawings. Near this new tab, click on this down arrow. Here we will find some of the latest drawing template which we are opened recently. Next we can browse the template and here we can create our own custom template by that we can create a new drawing sheet. Next one is get more templates online. From this, we can download custom templates from online. Next one is create sheet set. By this, we can create a new sheet set for the current drawing. This will help us to plot and publish the drawing with one click. Below this, we are having a three tabs. Recent, Autodesk Docs and Learning. In Recent tab, we are having a list of recently opened files. We can change the preview by selecting this. And we can pin the recently opened file by clicking on this. And we can open the drawing in a read only mode by these three dots. And this will show you the file path. Next one is Autodesk Docs. Here you need to sign in to access your online saved AutoCAD drawings. Next one is learning. Here you will find some learning tips and tutorial videos and some online resources for AutoCAD learning. Below this learning, we are having six links. First one is what's new. Click on that. It will redirect you to Autodesk website. Here you will find new announcement of installed AutoCAD software. Next one is online help. By this you can access online help. Next one is a community forum. If you are facing any problem in AutoCAD, you can directly post here. You will get a perfect solution for your problem. Next one is a customer support. This will directly connect you to a customer service. Next one is AutoCAD mobile app. By this you can easily purchase AutoCAD mobile app license. Next one is AutoCAD web app. By this you can easily create a free account to access a web AutoCAD application. This is all about startup window. Now I will open a new drawing sheet here. This is our AutoCAD user interface. At the top left corner you will find application menu. Here you will find basics commands of AutoCAD like new, open, save, save as, export, import, publish, print drawing utilities and close and here you will get some of the recent opened file list and here you will find search bar here you can search any of the AutoCAD commands like this below this window you will find option from this tab we can easily customize our user interface and finally here you will get exit command near this application menu we are having quick access toolbar. In this toolbar, we will find all quick access toolbars like new, open, save, save as, open from web and mobile app, save to web and mobile app, plot, 
undo, redo, and share options. And we can easily customize this quick access toolbar by clicking on this down arrow. You can add batch plot options, layer, match properties, plot preview, and properties, render, sheet set manager, and workspaces. By clicking on this, we can easily customize the quick access toolbar. If you don't want any tools from this quick access bar, you can easily uncheck and remove that from the quick access toolbar. Below this quick access toolbar, we are having a ribbon. The ribbon will consist of number of tabs like home tab, insert, annotate, parametric, view, manage, output, audience, collaborate, express tool and future tabs. And here you will find two arrows. By this we can easily minimize our ribbons like this. In each tab, we are having multiple panels, draw panel, modify panel, annotation, layer, block, properties, group, utility, clipboard and view. Like this, each tab will have a different different panels. And each panel we can take out like this. And again, by clicking on this arrow, we can refix it to the original location. Below this ribbon, we are having file tab. It will display open the drawing files with their names. If you don't have this panel, directly go to view and here select file tab. Like this. Below this file tab, we are having our working space. Here only we are create our drawings like this. I'm creating a rectangle and I'll create on circle here and I'll create on line over here and I will trim this circle like this. This is our working area. At the right side of your working space, you will find view queue. By this, we can easily turn our 2D workspace into 3D workspace and we can easily change the views from front to left and left to the top. Below this view queue, we are having navigation tool palette. From this you will get full navigation wheel like this. Below this you are having a pan command. By this we can pan our drawing like this. Below this we are having a zoom extend options. By this we can easily fit our current drawing to the window. And here you will get orbit. This will help us to rotate orbit in 3D workspace. Below this working area we are having model and layout tabs. This is a model tab where we are creating our drawings. Next one is a layout tab. By this layout tab, we will present our drawing with a title block by adding viewports like this. We can add multiple viewports inside our title block to fit our drawing views like this. And we can create a multiple layouts by clicking on this plus symbol. Right click on the particular layout tab, you will get this modify window. Here you can delete the layout and rename and you can set a some page setup managers and plot settings and drafting standards and also you can import and export the particular sheets and you can dock above the status bar like this. Above the model and layout tab, we are having command prompt. From this only, we will give our input to the software, just like this. I will type line and I will click enter to activate the line command. Like this, we can give our commands to the software to execute the drawings. At the bottom right corner, we are having this status bar. It consists of multiple commands like ortho mode on or off button, polar tracking on or off button and some annotation scale control tabs and workspace switch button like this and isolate object options and clear screen option like this and at the end you will find these three lines left click on that you will find a big list here by this list you can easily customize status bar if you don't want any option from the status bar you can uncheck this and that will disappear from the list. If you want that, directly click on that. It will add in the status bar. 
and at the right top corner you are having a search bar from this you can call out a help like this near this we are having a sign in button if you are using a licensed autocad version you have to sign in from here and then you will get autodesk app store from this you can easily visit autodesk app store directly next you will get stay connected tab click on this down arrow here you will get some options from this you can access your autodesk account and you can check the certified hardware for your systems and you can visit autocad blogs and youtube facebook and twitter pages and after this you will get this question mark click on this down arrow here you can access online help and you can download offline help also and you can send a feedback and you can download different language packs and you can go for a desktop analytics and from this last one you can manage your license i hope this information is very useful for our autocad users if you have any doubts and suggestions please write in the comment box i will try to clear those doubts in my next videos still you are not subscribed my channel please subscribe the channel and don't forget to click on bell icon to get a next video updates thanks for watching take care bye bye